How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be doing a update on the first flight results of the MCC Insider Program. There was recently an update put up on the uh, Halo Waypoint website, so I figured I'd share you guys the information here to so let you guys give you all the nitty gritty details and without having to read an entirely long huge post about the whole thing. So before we get started, if you like these news and information videos, please make sure to tap that like button. If you want to see more content like this, if you want to stay up to date with all the MCC news coming, all the new flights that are coming to you guys, uh, please make sure to tap subscribe. Let you know every time we're going to do upload anything awesome on this channel, which is going to be every time. So let's get right into it here. So if you don't remember, there was a flight that recently happened for the first um, test realm of the MCC for the new patch coming up. This the goal for this one was to basically test. Uh, have a public test flight uh, that was designed to help stress test all the core matchmaking updates the team has been working on over the past few months. Uh, and also just basically just kind of make sure you get how well it can get people in the games, how to get people out of the games, and people get back into another game with this new uh, continuous uh, matchmaking kind of stat, uh, pro process that they now have in the game where before it would just kick you back to the menu and you have to manually search again. 343 also puts in a good side note here saying that L, all the matches were actually peer-to-peer -peer connections just because the dedicated servers were not quite ready for this test. But don't worry, there will be dedicated servers for the full update release. So no worries there, just that they weren't able to have the uh, servers up in time to do proper validation. So for flight one, there were two main data points that 343 wanted to take note of for this flight one. One, the first data point being matchmaking success rate, making sure that people were actually finding matches, and two, how long does it take for people to find those matches? So now you're probably wondering, how were the results? Well, according to 343, they turned out a lot better than they actually thought it was going to be. Uh, there were more than 14,000 matches making attempts made over the course of these three days that uh, this uh, flight was taking place over specific times, more the uh, evenings in the U.S. time zone. Uh, they said that the matchmaking success rate successfully exceeded Flight 1 goals. Time to match results were significantly faster than our Flight 1 goals as well. Uh, the vast majority of players were into matches in less than 38 seconds, which actually might actually be faster than Halo 5, I think. Now there were a couple issues that were unexpected during this flight, one of them being that uh, there was an issue with the like a backfill, that's what they called it, issue, where basically the eighth member in the lobby wasn't, uh, in the lobby wasn't able to be filled in correctly. Uh, that, but they were able to fix it after day one, they were able to resolve that issue rather fast, which is great to hear. And some people might actually find this actually as a benefit, but they found this as a glitch as well. We're saying somehow an audio issue was introduced that resulted in the main menu music being muted. So um, I know there's been a, a, a high demand to have the option to mute that music because it's very loud, very blaring. And lastly, for people who like to stream the game, it's very annoying because a lot of times you have music playing in the background and then you gotta deal with the music in your background stream playing on top of the game stream music playing. So uh, people have actually probably find that as a benefit rather than actually a bug, but they're able to fix that one as well. Once the flight one was over, there was a survey that a lot of the people who participated filled out as well, basically just saying if they agreed or disagreed with a few questions, basically of how was their uh, experience, did things load properly, was there enough thing to, things to do, did you enjoy your experience kind of thing. And honestly, the feedback was rated higher than the survey previously that was baseline for the retail version of MCC. Now, I'm sure a lot of people after playing this probably have a little bit of a you know, bias of being like, hey, I see you guys are working on things. I enjoyed it. I had fun. Where people probably, when they first filled out that survey, that was filled probably with a lot of hate and then resentment. Yeah, uh, dude, and they probably wanted to stick it to 343 going like, yeah, I didn't like it. The game sucked. And then when they actually get a chance to play it again, they go, oh, it's actually not too bad. So there's a bit of that kind of bias happening, I'm sure, with the surveys. But they were much, but this build was much more appreciated and a higher approval rating than uh, the retail build of the MCC. Uh, some of the likes of this uh, 
uh, flight were saying that the quick matchmaking times were great, the continuous play, so you don't have to keep backing out. You can just go into the next game right after the one game finishes. And then the UI, the new UI in the game was a really nice change of pace as well. Though there were some dislikes as well, saying lag and frame rate issues. Uh, the, that could just be issues with connections since it was on peer to peer, and there was only about 2,000 people in that were invited to this flight one. And so then, you know, lag can have an issue with frame rate. Um, maybe something else with the game as well could have an issue with frame rate as well. Uh, you know, being peer to peer with only 2,000 people in the population, uh, I think mainly of the US, uh, and also uh, specific times as well. So maybe less than a few hundred people probably playing at one time. So yeah, lag is going to be an issue there. Uh, people will also complain about sweaty games, that it was very try hardy, uh, full teams of four going in and just stomping on people. Uh, just because there's no skill based matchmaking in it. And you know, that's just kind of what's going to happen. I mean, with such low populations, you kind of have to let that happen. And uh, a lot of people said they would like to see more modes rather than I think it was just uh, Halo 2 Anniversary Slayer. And uh, that was really just about it, I believe. So with Flight 1 done, we're probably assuming there's going to be a Flight 2, right? Well, you would be correct with that one. And so 343 actually lays out some of the um, overarching um, things they want to improve on when it comes to Flight 2. One thing they want to test out is dedicated servers. Make sure you get a chance to test those out. And also their stability. Uh, get more participants as well with the Flight 2. They said they're going to try to double the amount of people in this flight. So I'll probably put it around 4,000 people out of the 13,000, I believe, that signed up for the... Uh, uh, the flight testing here and don't worry if you're in flight one you roll over into flight two so you're automatically accepted so we're looking to add an additional to about 2,000 more people hopefully uh, some of the metrics that they're looking for are dedicated server performance time to match 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 success rates and number of errors as well and also just adding some more content to the game to get people more things to do to kind of re keep that retention rate higher so then people who are playing Play for longer and get more data for 343 to work on it. And now you're probably wondering, oh man, I wish you could join in with this insider program. Well, you actually still can. Throughout this entire process, you can join in with the insider program, so it's not too late. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to check out that link so you can get, have a chance to sign up to play some new examples of the MCC. So my overall thoughts, it sounds like it was a rather positive experience for the Flight 1. Like, what they wanted to test out was the connections of people, getting people in the games and then getting people into another game right after that one. So it sounds like the matchmaking times were super fast, down to 38 seconds with a, such a small player base. That's pretty damn good for peer-to-peer -peer connections as well. But of course, without testing it on dedicated servers, when the whole game's on dedicated servers, it makes me kind of worried like this uh, whole test was kind of just you know, they only did it because they promised it to people rather than actually truly testing out the system. But uh, at least I'm sure some code can probably co copy over or something like that. But um, I'm sure Flight 2 will be their true stress test on this matchmaking system that they're uh, working with so that uh, you can get people in and out of games super fast and, having that and also having the continuous uh, matchmaking after games as well so you don't have to keep going out to the lobby and searching again on your own kind of implement the same thing they did with uh, Halo 5 as well and previous Halos as well anyways guys sounds like things are going rather well if you enjoyed this update video please make sure to tap that like button if you want to see more content like this also helps the video get some more notoriety so more people out in the community of Halo get a chance to know what's going on with the MCC and stay up to date with all the new information so if you want to stay up to date Make sure to tap subscribe because we're always uploading anything awesome on this channel, Halo related. And so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.